back to Scale Auto Guys Workbench. Today, we're working on the MPC Coca-Cola 69 Dodge Charger RT. This is a basically a snap together curbside kit and uh, it's molded in red. Well, that's not usually a problem. Um, you can clear coat this and just leave it as it is. Um, or you can uh, go ahead and change the color if you wish. Um, when you take it out of the box, the chassis is inside the body. The thing you have to be uh, mindful of when you're doing, uh, when you take this apart, uh, this piece here is attached back here on the body inside, you know, folded up inside the body. So you have to make sure that you remove that part um, that goes on your front end. So as you can see, like I said, it is a curbside kit with everything molded into the chassis. Uh, that'll be something that's fairly easy to uh, detail um, with your, you know, doing your exhaust system and stuff like that. And uh, I'll show you that when I get to it. Uh, let's get on to the rest of the parts in the box. Uh, you have your one piece windshield and rear window uh, piece and it's a molded in coca-cola green that's the only one you get in the kit you don't get a clear option you get uh, four Goodyear branded tires in your clear red tree you get the two tail lights you have a black tree it gives you a roll bar this is your grill inserts um, there are four wheel backs one just broke off in the uh, bag CB radio if you want to install that and the uh, push bumper now this car was also uh, the same mold as the uh, Dukes of Hazard charger and that's probably why the push bar is in there as well moving on to your chrome tree there's two of them um, you have optional wheels, five spoke mags or the turbine wheels. You also have your CB antenna, rear bumper, front bumper, and uh, a couple other little things here. Looks like a gear shift. I'm not sure what that is. Yeah, it's a gear shift. It's just got an extra piece on it. And your gas cap. Gas cap just pushes into the hole in the body back here, right there pretty simple. The last tree is your interior. It's molded in white as you can see. Um, it looks like it could be fairly easy to detail. Um, there's not a whole lot on the door panels though. There, there is a little bit there but it's kind of smooth. And last but not least is your decal sheet. Um, it's pretty simple. You don't get much uh, as far as uh, decal sheets uh, go uh, when they're snapped together. And I said last but not least, but here's the last but not least is your decal sheet. Um, Gives you quite a few options for uh, Coca-Cola insignia. Um, and then on the box, the box art here has the green front end. This is where you get the green front end is through the decals. And they're fairly large, so um, they may be easy to put on. They may fight you a little bit. We'll find out. So, uh, yeah. This is going to be a quick, easy, uh, fun build. Let's get on it, and uh, I think what I'm going to do with mine, I don't know that I want to leave it molded red like that, um, because you can see some, you know, where the plastic came together inside the mold. Um, I may end up priming this and repainting it red. Um, something a little bit brighter, maybe. Uh, okay, like I said, let's get on it. Let's get started. Let's see what we come up with.
Okay, fellas, um, I'm here putting the uh, wheels and tires on the 69 Charger, and I've discovered something that uh, most of you probably will. Uh, when you get the uh, rear tires on, you notice that the hole is pretty high in the wheel well, which means when you put your tire in, or I should I say, you put your axle in, that's going to cause that back end to kind of sit, I don't know, to me it looks kind of low. Uh, and not very, well the tire's a little off, but there it goes. Uh, it, it, it just looks kind of squatty in the back end. So what I'm going to do, and probably those of you who have built this already, uh, figured this one out and it didn't take me very long I'm going to put another hole down there if you look inside here you can see that hole now let me get something here that hole is right here um, it's you still have plenty of meat down in here to where you can put a hole a little bit lower to kind of jack the back end up a little bit and I'm going to play with that here a uh, little, and let's see um, if I can change the stance of this vehicle just a little bit. So, stand by. Okay, fellas, I took out uh, the uh, old battery-operated drill. Um, I did want to use just my pin vise drill, and you can do that, but um, I figured using the cordless drill there was a little bit faster. Um, what I ended up doing is um, drilling out another hole just maybe an eighth of an inch, yeah, right around an eighth of an inch, three sixteenths of an inch uh, lower on each side. And let's see how that, take, that looks when we uh, put our axle in. There we go. Come on, go on there. Yeah, that gives it a little bit more of a raked stance. Um, although, you know, this is an AMT kit. Uh, and as usual, the tires don't look quite right inside the wheel wells there. But there you go. Um there's the rake stance that uh, looks a little bit better, I think, anyway. Um, let me know what you guys think. Uh, put it in the comments below. Uh, should I go with the stock uh, from the factory holes, or does this look better? Well, let's get on with the interior, and let's get that finished up. I still have some uh, bare metal foil that I have to apply to the body. So let's get on with that.
Okay, fellas, I've got uh, got all of the bare metal foil finished, and uh, it uh, the hardest part was getting these angles back here in where that window trim comes down. It was kind of hard to force that foil to do that curve, but other than that, as you can see, I've got it all pretty much uh, done. I've also put a little bare metal foil in on the marker lights and uh, painted those the appropriate colors. Oh, what the heck happened there? Oh my gosh. Okay, that's a little silver paint. I'm gonna have to clean that up. I also have the uh, front bumper pushed into place. And uh, had to add a little foil to the top here um, because the um, way this was on the sprue, when you cut it, there was a, a point here, a point here, and one down here on the bottom. And in order to fit this grill in, you had to sand those nubs off. And when you sanded the nubs off, you could see it after you pushed the bumper in. So, okay. Then I added a little silver. Oh, got it. Here we go. I had a little silver down in here where the taillights go. I'll be pushing those in here in a minute as well as the rear bumper. So hold on just a moment. one in gotta snip the other one off here oh I also uh, put a little silver on the back of this um, using a gel pen just to give it a little bit more reflectivity um, sand that little nub off there And I got that little spot off the side there too. Had to get a little creative on how to get that out of there. I don't know if that was silver paint or if that was actual uh, ink from the gel pen. There we go. That's in about as far as it's going to go, I suppose. Well, it refuses to go any further. Anyway, there's uh, the tail lights install. And now for the rear bumper. And as you can see, that just pushes in. This is a snap together kit after all. So, here we go. Well, we got to finish up the interior, and uh, then we'll push it all together and be back for the final.
Well, it appears that all my efforts to do the side marker lights, which turned out really well, was for nothing. Because if you see this decal here, that goes right about here. And it's going to cover up that entire side marker light that I did for nothing. But that's the way it goes. Um, I'll just go ahead and put the decals on anyway because it would not look right without them. got all the decals uh, applied um, these are really big decals they are kind of uh, difficult to work with um, and it doesn't help that they're cracked on the uh, backing paper so when you take them you go to take them off and transfer them to the car um, they come in pieces um, with that said um, they all really went together well um, I got the windows pushed in uh, into place and those are ready to go got the decals I got the front and rear bumpers all done um, so we're all set um, it did take a while to do these decals because just on the top surface of this hood that's three pieces one on each t uh, the top of each fender and the center uh, section over the hood. Um, it did have a um, continuous stripe that goes all the way back, but I decided to um, get rid of that in lieu of uh, putting the CB antenna on and the ice cold label in the back. Um, so that's it for the body. The interior um, is all completed, and uh, let me see if I can get you up here so I can get a good look at it. And uh, these decals that uh, go on the seats, um, the seats did have molded in seat belts. I decided to paint those, and uh, it was a good thing I did because there was areas in the decals that showed through for the seat belts so you can actually see the seat belts in there um, so and here's the uh, detailed chassis um, like I said I redrilled the holes down here for that rear bumper to our rear axle I'm sorry <laughs> rear axle um, to give it a little bit more of a of front end uh, raked look so let me push this all together 
and we'll be back for the final. Okay, here we are back at the final. The 69 Dodge Charger RT, Coca-Cola sponsored by MPC. Uh, this is a snap together curbside kit. There's no engine. Everything just pushes together. You don't even need to use glue. Um, I did on a couple parts because I wanted to make sure that they didn't come loose. Um, of course, you can uh, do it either way you want to. If you want to use glue, you can you can you don't have to but uh, yeah these uh, decals were um, a little bit troublesome and because uh, they're so large but um, once they uh, laid down and I was able to smooth them out they looked pretty good the only thing I didn't like about them is up here in the hood area you can see where the, the decal has split um, that section is just a little too long and it bends down into this uh, these little indentations in the hood and the decals don't like it so they they did split on me um, as you can see on the the interior I've got the coca-cola labels on the seats I've even got uh, the enjoy a coca-cola uh, decal in the back window so, what do you guys think? Does it look pretty good? I thought it did. I, I used the uh, red pepper, uh, Krylon red pepper paint um, with a little bit of dragonfly glaze sprayed over top of it that gives it a little bit of a color shift property. Um, I thought that looked pretty, pretty good. And uh, we have our new coca-cola bear um, we got that we picked that up at a thrift shop needed some repair I went ahead and fixed it and uh, now it's gonna be part of my coca-cola theme and of course got the coca-cola machine over here from the popper pinto so got any questions comments please leave them below if you have any uh, suggestions on what I could have done better you can leave those below as well if you like this video please think about subscribing um, and hit the bell icon I have plenty of videos coming and you won't want to miss out on any of them until next time thank you for watching scale auto guys workbench have a great one